perfect combination. I recently had a lady who came, she changed the job. She's about 60 years old. She works full time plus one and a half hours one way to work and one and a half hours back from work. Uh, well, that's too much. Because the job is very demanding, she became very tired. I took the pulses, I could see kind of fatty liver here. Not much energy, tiredness. At the same time, she was tense. This pattern, five times, just different person. She said, I do have energy. And they feel it straight after the treatment. People ask, how long does it take to, take to feel it? Well, most of them feel the result after the treatment. And Dr. Tan always said, if the pattern is has been chosen correctly, it will do the job and you will treat the problem. You will treat the discomfort. So if we speak about Xiao Yin Xiao Yang pattern or water wood imbalance, we speak about opposite symptoms, sometimes tiredness, sometimes overactive and tight. So they're tight and tired, very often depressed, they have low motivation, uh, exhaustion, fatigue. So there are serious mental, spiritual, emotional problems due to deficiency. And uh, this Xiaoying, Xiaoyang pattern usually brings them up very quickly. The system responds so well. Very often you can add some points, but if you add the point into the uh, con uh, meridian conversion, Please add it from the meridian that doesn't belong to this pattern. For example, you can add to Xiaoying, Xiaoyang, stomach 36, because stomach 36 doesn't belong to this pattern. But you can't add uh, kidney 8. You can't do it because then you break the conversion. There will be three points on the meridian, but we need only two. The liver eight is an exception. And now we carry on. How can we help with hormonal imbalance? If we speak about such symptoms as irregular bleeding, bloating, digestive bloating, breast enlargement, water retention, mood swings, sleeping disorders, forgetfulness, birth control, fertility, menopause, insomnia, which organ do these symptoms relate? All these symptoms belong to spleen, according to Chinese medicine, not the liver. We're talking about hormonal imbalance. Major function of spleen is the water metabolism. And who controls the water? Senjiao. So Senjiao controls spleen, we can say that. So hormonal changes lead to water imbalances. Spleen is dampness. Sinjiao 
is water metabolism. If the person is puffy and slightly overweight, with a lot of dampness there, how does Sunjiao work? Sunjiao is underactive. Skinny people, usually their Sunjiao works hard. When the body is dry, Sunjiao slows down. If wet, Sunjiao works hard. So, when we speak about hormonal imbalance, we have to think about two meridians mainly spleen and Sunjiao. Spleen will be balanced by heart according to system 5. And Sinjiao will be balanced by gallbladder. Sinjiao and spleen are related the same way as heart and gallbladder, according to system 2.